to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, folks, we are back at Duncan. Yesterday, I tried the hazelnut, nutty, the nutty pumpkin, which is a hazelnut pumpkin uh, latte. You can get iced, which I did. I prefer it iced, and it's summer. It's still summer, so you gotta think about that. So we we're doing this the same day. So what, I just tried the other thing, but we're uploading it on a different day, obviously. So what do we have? We've got the blood orange refresher. It's a mix of cranberry and blood orange flavor. I'm intrigued. I've never really loved their refreshers. Uh, they always seem to be a, be a bit too artificial. I definitely don't ever get them with coconut milk anymore. I think that's even worse than when you get with the tea. And they didn't offer to give it to me with lemonade. Um, but I, I, I don't care. It don't matter to me. I just got a bad taste in my mouth talking about it. I haven't even taken a sip. And I know that Nutty Pumpkin was good. So, I don't know. I think just it being so close to me, I, I, I can tell you. I'm not getting a good vibe. All right, we're going to try it anyway. So, hit that subscribe button. That's not half bad. I like the blood orange in that. I think that's what carries it. The cranberry kind of kills me a little bit. It adds an artificial and bitter flavor. And the aftertaste, I, I get a, a lot of cranberry. But it's it's a it's a pleasing drink. Like I I I would never drink any of these on a daily. That's a disclaimer. I, this would not be a go-to drink. But I think it's interesting. It's one of the better ones I've had from Duncan. Would I give it a high ranking? Not exactly. But yeah, that nice sweet punch of the blood orange is what highlights this. I'm actually very surprised that they did this one pretty well. Yeah, I like that. I'm not a big fan of the cranberry. I will say that. I just, I don't like artificial cranberry stuff. But, you know, I'm willing to sell. It's not the worst artificial cranberry flavor. It's not too far off from cranberry juice. Hmm. Yeah, I would give that like a seven and a half. It's not going to linger in my mind. Wow, wow, you know, that that's so good or that's so great. But it's enjoyable. Like, it's laid back. It's not overly artificial. The blood orange does a good job. So, I don't know. I, I think they did a pretty good job on this one. So, I don't know. Prop to Duncan. Good blood orange flavor. Not too much cranberry. Um, but I really just would prefer this if it was straight up blood orange. If it was, I would probably be even more intrigued to say, hey, this is like an... Uh, you know, eight and a half or a nine. It's not. It's not going to reach that level of perfection. I don't think, but I, I think it's a. It's a fair drink. So that, that gets a seven and a half for me. Um, some good new items on the fall menu for Duncan. Plus, you got a lot of good returning items. So I'm sure you know what most of the other things taste like. You've seen reviews. You've been. Um, so you you know what you're getting into. But I'm just here to tell you about those two new drinks. And I think I did a fair job. I hope you enjoyed these videos. And uh, just stay tuned for more. Uh, I know with Starbucks, they're not doing anything new particularly. They're, they're revamping the Apple Crisp Macchiato. So I'll be reviewing that um, and kind of comparing it to what we had last year. But other than that, that's my review. I'm sticking to it. And I will see y'all around.